New at 6 tonight, a birthed firefighter is adjusting to a new lifestyle after he had to have a leg amputated. It's the result of an injury that he got on the job more than a year ago. Jamie Leary live at Presbyterian St. Luke's store tonight with that story. Jamie? It's really a testament to the risk that our first responders take every single day. This 33-year-old fire investigator tried to save the life of a woman, sustained an injury that almost cost him his own life. He had his leg amputated this month, and now all he can think about is how he can recover, make progress, and get back to serving his community. Josh McDonald was one of the first to reach 75-year-old Cecil Dunphy. I think about that day every day. Her injuries were too severe and she didn't survive. Josh returned to her home the next day, determined to find the cause. I'm going to investigate this fire to the best of my ability because I don't want to let her down. His life changed forever when the floorboards crumbled beneath him. Once I fell through that floor, I just thought it was a torn ACL and PCL. That was in March of 2016. He says after a routine surgery, he developed MRSA, a bacterial infection that almost took his life. Our job can be over in a second. And, um, you know, that's what happened to me. His leg is newly gone. He has phantom pain and real fear. That there's a ton of people behind me and I don't want to let them down. One of his biggest fears? Not being able to walk her down the aisle. And he will, but for now. In here, I just have to take it one day at a time. One day, one step. His fiance Lauren happens to be a police officer. They've had to postpone their engagement, but he says he's not leaving the hospital until he can walk her down the aisle, until he can dance with her. They do have a long road to recovery and a lot of expenses, a remodel for their home to make it handicap accessible, and he also has a huge expense to get a prosthetic leg. They have a GoFundMe account if you would like to help. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado first. Thank you, Jamie.